All right, y'all, Professor X here again. As you know, uh, a few weeks ago on Raw, a new segment was debuted called The Electric Chair. Now, I got a question for Mr. McMahon, who runs a company show marketed to children and families, and it's supposed to be PG. Don't you know The Electric Chair represents capital punishment in America? The Electric Chair is used to execute criminals who have done probably the most hideous, uh, uh, murderous crimes. And you're going to debut uh, on a PG wrestling uh, uh, a kid show marketed to kids called The Electric Chair. Yeah, Vince, you've got some serious issues. But anyway, Sammy, Ga- uh, excuse me, Sammy Zane was the first guest on The Electric Chair, hosted by Corey Graves, where he would take questions from the fans. And apparently, of course, any fan that asked a question was going to get insulted. That's just the way, you know, it goes. And he mentions, you could have asked me about AEW. Now, word backstage is, that was supposed to be a scripted line, but then it was taken out. But somehow, it slipped through the cracks, or Sammy Sammy Zayn uh, just slipped. And for for whatever reason, uh, Vince McMahon was not happy with Sammy... Uh, when he said the line on television, obviously, because, you know, Sami Zayn, you broke the cardinal rule, or the company actually uh, broke the cardinal rule. Why would they script it and then take it out at the last minute? You never, never mention the name of your competition on WWE. Any contracted WWE wrestler uh, knows this. And when you do, if, or if you slip, it's basically, uh, you know, the cardinal sin. But anyway... Personally, I think there's more behind this than meets the eye. Ever since AEW's uh, Double or Nothing pay-per-view that made a historical statement, to me, it's, it's, it sums up what I mentioned in the previous two videos. Basically, I just think WWE is threatened and scared that AEW is going to be actually the first competition they've seen since WCW. And here's the thing. Do you guys, uh, 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 do all of you out there remember the movie Antitrust? You know, the computer movie with the computer geeks? They were getting killed because they might put uh, this guy, the character Gary Winston, out of business. That's what Vince McMahon reminds me of, Gary Winston. Any wrestler with an idea on his own or starting his own company or his own path is a threat to WWE. And Cody Rhodes represents the, uh, 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 one of the characters that was killed in Antitrust or the one that basically survived and brought him down. So I, th- I think in Vince McMahon's mind, any wrestler with an idea is a threat uh, uh, to WWE. And I hope every wrestler in the business gets a whole bunch of ideas on how to expand the business to, to, to help wrestlers have any place they want to go or multiple, or multiple places uh, they want to go and not have to be brainwashed into thinking WWE is where you have to go to become a star. So uh, 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 to Sami Zayn, who mentioned the AEW, hey, Cody Rhodes, uh, send him a thank you. That's free pu- uh, publicity. The thing is, that the timing of the mention, you mentioned it the Monday after the weekend of their debut of pay-per-view. And now, from what I hear, I heard an a audio conference media call with Triple Bitch that NXT TakeOver is taking place in this place called Cardiff the same night as All Elite Wrestling's All Out. Now, if that's not a coward calling uh, the kettle black or, you know, WWE's old son-in-law being scared of competition. I don't know what is. But uh, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, Leave your thoughts and comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.